Hi guys, Candace Jones here from CJ Sweet Life. I am sitting down today to talk to you a little bit about getting some fresh air, some sunlight, and some nature into your life. And ironically, I am inside because it is cold out and I was just outside running around with my little one getting some fresh air. So I'm feeling good and vibrant and happy. Um, but yeah, so this is something that it's kind of near and dear to my heart because I just feel that as a society, we are not getting outside as much as we need. We tend to, um, I don't know, work the nine to five, um, sometimes in a cubicle, if you will. And we just aren't, you know, getting outside and getting the fresh air that we need to actually function properly in our um in our bodies. So the one first thing I kind of want to talk about is um, the importance of sunlight for vitamin D and producing vitamin D. So this is something um, that's actually become getting some tea in my life, detoxing right now. Um, first time I've actually been able to have hot tea this entire year because um, when you live in South Texas, as I do, hot things are not something that you tend to gravitate towards, but now, um, now that it's 72 degrees out, it actually feels cooler than that. Um, I'm ready for some tea. So this has some, um, fresh squeezed lemon and I think I'm, I have like an, a lemon herb tea and a raspberry tea going on, but, um, yeah, so going on. Vitamin D is, I guess I would say more and more people suffer from deficiency. And I will go further into um, deficiency a little in a little bit. But yeah, a lot of people suffer from just not having enough vitamin D. And vitamin D is actually um, more of a hormone than it is necessarily a vitamin. It's a vitamin byproduct. Um, our liver actually slash, um, sorry, our, our liver helps produce it. So, um, we need vitamin D for pretty much, um, everything in our body. Like as far it, as a hormone, it actually is involved in a lot of things as far as immune health, heart health, digestive health. Um, hormones again and hormone production so a lot of things um, it helps of course as we know with our bones um, gosh like kind of on and on so it's a big thing as far as overall health and a lot of us suffer from side effects of deficiency with like mental aspects as well um, and you hear about especially now that, that we're getting into um, colder and darker months, um, especially up north, more people will suffer from uh, seasonal depression related, related from just not having enough sunlight um, on a daily basis. And so um, other, other um, aspects, I mean, low energy and fatigue, um, sleep issues, moodiness, I mean, a lot of not a lot of crazy things as far as the, the health and mental sides of it. Um, but like like I said, there's a lot of aspects to um, a vitamin D deficiency. So um, as far as the side effects, it really can be endless. As far as I mean, blood pressure problems or heart problems. Um, again, like digest digestive issues, yeast issues, like it, it kind of. Like again, it can be a lot of different things. So you might not even know that you have a vitamin D deficiency um, or a problem. And it, it it's really quite simple as far as being able to excuse me, um, take care of. But a lot of us suffer because we're just not getting outside. It's simple as that. So I want to talk a little bit more um, as far as maybe our, I don't want to say like our fear, but there has been a lot of fear associated with getting out in the sun because of um, 
rising rates of skin cancer. And crazy enough, the rates of skin cancer have increased more in the U.S. as long and the rate of actually using um, topical uh, sunscreen has increased. So that's kind of what my my point that I'm trying to make is like that you're putting on toxic sunscreen and it's actually creating the cancer. So yikes, surprise. Um, so what happens is when you get it on the sun, um, your body is actually pushing some of the toxins to the surface of your skin, um, mainly through perspiration. We sweat and we're sweating toxins out. So when you're putting on the sunscreen, you're actually like suppressing um, the toxins back into your skin. And we don't ever want to suppress toxins. That's just like um, kind of using an analogy of a sewer system. You wouldn't want to, you know, push the sewage back into your pipes in your home, right? You want to be able to like let that go or go where all the uh, sewage goes, right? You want to, you don't want them to be that to be backed up in your house. And that's what you're doing if you're suppressing any sort of um, toxin as far as perspiration or even going even more into the lymph system. Um, we will talk about next week is something that very vital to our health is um, improving our lymph system. But mucus and inflammation, those are forms of lymphatic drainage. And if you um, suppress it via medication or, or whatnot, then it's just going back into your body, okay? And that's where disease and everything keeps going. Acidosis. But, um, so yeah, the vitamin D... Sunscreen, back on topic. Um, so my, my, my main advice, mm -hmm. if you will, is to um, eliminate the toxins, the toxic sunscreen from your life, and get a minimum of at least 15, 20 minutes in the sun. And that is with as little clothing as possible. Um, but... And you want to have direct sun, so you want to get out even um, in the middle of the day. So with that saying, like, if you're not getting out at 12 o'clock where the sun is at its peak and getting direct sunlight on, you know, like, as little or as, as much skin um, as possible, then you're probably not getting enough sun. So I would say even the time would go up, right? So... Just mainly get out in the sun to, you know, even up to an hour if you can, um, at least, you know, without having any sort of redness or um, any sort of tanning happening. But you might be kind of worried now, like, okay, well, skin cancer. But again, like I said, if if we're already allowing, if we're like, we're burning because of the toxins on the skin, that's really what we're burning from, and we're burning, um, we're getting the cancer because of the sunscreen. There's a lot of toxic, cancer-prone ingredients in um, sunscreen, and you, your eyes might be glazing over or rolling at me, but I can't overemphasize the importance of putting on um, products on your body or putting natural products on your body over anything chemically made because it's just not meant to be on our body and not enough people I should say people the companies that are selling these products don't do the research um, and frankly I don't think they care uh, unfortunately to say the truth I, I think it's more money driven than um, out of really knowing the need of the consumer. So, um, as far as protecting your skin, of course, do the things that, you know, we're, we're taught when we were little to 
you know, if you're out, you're going to be out the beach or out in the sun for a long period of time, bring a hat, bring a like long clothing. And I do that all the time. I have like long rash guards that I take, which are like the, um, surfer like shirts that you like put on and I absolutely love that because I am not one of those like bikini girls that I like to run around and like hang out at the beach with my kiddos so I always um wear that I, I wear a big um sun hat and I feel like a 90 year old woman but hey it, it makes me feel better because I'm not getting all the sun but I'm still allowing myself to um soak in some of those the uv rays which is um that's where our body can develop can make the vitamin d our vi when we put sunscreen on especially it is blocking the uv which is where we make our vitamin d from so very <laughs> very important again hi this is jeffrey y'all yes he loves to get his um, sunlight. We love going outside. We love yes. playing, right? Yes. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> um, our time might be cut short here, and I apologize if it is. Um... Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Oops. Okay, I'm going to take a pause here. I apologize, guys. I'm going to come back and take care of my kiddo because I think he, he wants some attention. And I will be back and we'll, we'll finish this talk because I want to talk more about... Um, again, like getting the oxygen, getting the fresh air, and just, um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll be back, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Candace Jones here again. Thanks again for checking in with me. I had to take a little break from our, my last video. This is going to be like my third time today trying to get some in since I kind of missed one yesterday. But, um, yeah, today I'm talking about just being able to get outside and enjoy sunlight, fresh air, and nature because it is something that I think naturally humans need in our lives. I, I don't know. Um, I think the Creator, our God, designed us to be outside and for some reason, like our universe revolves around getting sunlight and the oxygen that is out in the air. And that's how our bodies um, function at, you know, the ultimate um, degree. So uh, my last, I, I, I shouldn't say video, but um, I was here 30 minutes ago talking. Um, I last left off talking mainly about... Um, how the sunlight basically boosts your vitamin D and um, basically just gave it, giving you tips on um, how to get more sun and be safe for, about it, especially by taking away uh, toxic chemicals such that are in uh, sunscreen. So there are a few, like there are sunscreens that you can use. I um, Dr. Mercola has a great sunscreen. That's all natural that I've been using here and there. I've actually pretty much um, taken sunscreen out of my um, life, I should say. Uh, I don't really put it on Jeffrey as much as I used to. This has been something that I've um, started to slowly take away because I've just, I guess in the last um, five to like nine months, so to speak, I became really dedicated to greening up my environment and my home. And that had to do with, you know, everything that was going on in our body, everything that was going on in our skin, and really taking a look at just all the chemicals that, you know, we're exposed to. And 
I guess I was a little naive um, and a little blind about the benefits of sunscreen because I used to put it on pretty re religiously, um, especially when I was in the go playing golf a lot. And that had, um, you know, it, it's very easy to understand why because I was out in the sun pretty much every day. And at the same time, um, I definitely think that my skin did suffer from the sun sunscreen because I definitely had um, more freckles and sunspots and whatnot, but and like dryness and, and things like that from the chemicals. So I definitely um, would use a lot of like coconut oil um, moisturizing moisturizer, sorry, to um, kind of combat that. But just going on to today, I definitely have taken that out of my life and. I value the time that I get outside. And this is with like Jeffrey, for instance, like I make sure that he gets out every day because I know how important it is. And it's really hard, um, A, living in a very hot climate to actually get out, want to get out in the heat. But I think it's it's important to, A, get, get sweating, but it's important to have that fresh air because the that we need fresh air and oxygen to for our cells to actually function. Um, there's a few things that our cells need to be healthy, and that is oxygen. It needs nutrients, which um, come from what we've talked about with just the basic, basically fructose. They love sugars, so they run on sugars, but um, and just a clean environment, and they need to be able to, um, I should say, they need a clean lymph, so they need to be uh, eliminating property as well. So, but the oxygen comes from just being outside, just breathing it in. So, if you're inside a lot, I, I implore you to just um, open the window if you're at work, because just getting the fresh air actually improves your um, mental clarity and your thinking by 20% because um, your brain actually takes 20% of the oxygen that you're breathing in. So, I mean, I, I can only imagine, I guess, just breathing in, I wouldn't say dirty air, but just stagnant air from being inside and just being able to, like like get the crisp clean air it just it wakes you up and it wakes your cells up and so just just something to like really start implementing into your day-to-day -day life especially now that it's getting cooler and you can like get the freshness coming through it's it's an amazing I don't know invigorating experience I should say um but yeah, the oxygen, it, oxygen and sunlight kind of go together in the sense of overall um, improvements in your health because they both improve like digestion and improve your um, like again mental health. It improves serotonin, which is very vital to um, like good thoughts and overall well being, but it also helps in your sleep patterns. Um, again, like I, going back to like the overall, our creator kind of thinking this out with humans in mind, just knowing that we were we were made to be like out in the sun and have that fresh air and um, just it all kind of revolves together. So. I don't know how it works, but our body knows when it's day and it knows when it's nighttime. And so just being able to get a little bit of sunlight into your um, being, your body naturally can go to sleep or sleep easy um, when you're meant to. And tomorrow night, we're actually going to talk down and sit down with Jennifer Palmer, my friend from Coastal Wellness again. 
and she is really neat. She is going to talk to us about um, actually getting better sleep, and she she's kind of a meditation meditation coach and a rac- relaxation coach, and um, again like a sleep coach. So this is huge in the sense of overall health. Let's see. Do I have anything else? Hi. My husband just walked in. Um, let's see. So, yeah, just kind of going back over even what I just talked about in the last video, if you haven't heard it um, or seen it, that being able to take away the toxins in your environment helps with the skin cancer um, problem kind of going away. And another thing though is in eating properly by um, adding more antioxidants into your into your uh, food. So as far, rather than telling you like specific foods, um, pretty much everything that I love and that I like to talk about like which is fruits, high fruits, and um, vegetables, they all have antioxidant properties. Pretty much anything that has um, dark colors, and that's like the berries, and oh goodness, like a lot of the greens even have antioxidant properties, and they help with, to fight the free radicals, and hi <laughs> Um, that's good. I hope he's, <laughs> Wyatt's watching me talk. <laughs> Creepy. Um, yeah, so that helps to protect your body from the free radicals, which, you know, is what damages your skin from the um, UV, UVA, UV rays. Um, hi, Jen. Do you have any questions for me? My one watcher now? <laughs> Um, so, let's see. Mm, talking about sunlight reduces, yeah, it, I think it, it's important for, like, parents to get their kids out in general to just get out and play. Um, it helps with boosting immunity. <laughs> you need the sleep talk. <laughs> Beyond tomorrow, right? Um, <laughs> yes, I think every mom needs to learn how to sleep. And unfortunately, I haven't quite uh, perfected it. But definitely something to work on. Um, yeah, every every parent kind of needs to get their kids out to play, right? It boosts their immunity. Not only does playing in the dirt actually boost your like the digestive system, but it... like the oxygen itself in some miraculous way just helps to um, kill bacteria and again your like your white blood cells need the oxygen as well to work so it's just kind of just a cool side note in how our body works together so I think it's really cool <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just kind of lost. Um, I guess I just wanted to keep it really simple today. Again, it's just, this is like my third talk <laughs> again. So look at, um, I was just on with my friend Ashley Chapa. We talked about yoga as well. And I think, again, just all these things kind of work together in just becoming healthier and happier in an overall realm. So, I'm just going to say goodbye <laughs> and keep it sort, short and sweet. And I'm going to um, spill my tea all over myself and call it a day. So, I hope you all have a good Thursday evening. And, get, and I hope this helps you get a little bit more insight in the sense of just simple things that you can add into your lives. And just, like I said, it doesn't have to be crazy hard and um some some things we like to try or 
the hard, th complicated things. We, we get all amped up about trying, but the things that are really going to set us through into maintaining a lifestyle are the things that we don't really have to think about doing. It's just something that you um, do instinctively and that, again, your body naturally wants to do anyway. So I'm just trying to r really just push that through and, you know, motivate y'all to, you know, be, live simple, be simple, and most of all, I guess, love yourself and love others. But again, thanks again for tuning in and give me a, thing, a thumbs up and a, a heart love. Um, <laughs> give my page a thumbs up and share with all your friends and family because again, this is all about educating and trying to get the word out that, you know, again, it doesn't have to be hard and the people that really, there's a lot of people suffering and I really want to reach them and, um, yeah, <laughs> bring that, bring that uh, awareness to everyone that it doesn't have to be hard to take health and, um, your own, you know, vitality into your own hands. So I love you guys and peace. Bye. Bye, Jen.